today is mid-autumn festival. Well, it's a Chinese festival where we have mooncakes. And one of my lovely, beautiful, talented subscribers, she started her own little like delivery cooking, baking, pastry, shop, pastry yeah. shop called Soy House. I ordered her a vegan mooncake set. I always keep her dried flowers. Oh, oh my god. Mmm, mm. mm, the nuttiness hitting from the black sesame. Mmm. Cute, the flower is so pretty. Mm. Alright, okay, okay, my turn, my turn, my turn, my turn. Mm. She's done it again. <laughs> God, Bam. it's so good. Mmm. May the moon and the stars shine forever for your good health and happiness. That's cute. I feel so grateful to be alive and have all of you guys in my life. I'm just really glad we get to be a part of this time in this universe together even though there are a lot of scary, uncertain things happening. I'm just glad we have this loving, wonderful community of people. I've been really getting into journaling and like uncovering some of my triggers, trying to do a lot of inner work lately because honestly for the past few months I've had a lot of lows and times where I just like feel very unmotivated, don't know what's up or just feel triggered like getting angry or just like frustrated over certain things that aren't actually that big of a deal. Then coming to realize like it's just reminding me about something my childhood. Therapy, inner work, lots of positive, uplifting podcasts have been really pulled me out of a funk and I'm so grateful for that which is why I'm also continuing to work with the sponsor of today's video and that is BetterHelp. BetterHelp is a secure private online counseling service that you can use from the comforts of your own home through their app. They give you a quiz to ask about your conditions and pair you with the most suitable counselor available. I started BetterHelp back in February, March and this was like my gateway into their and inner work everything because I don't think I would have had the guts to go in person honestly to sit in like a waiting room and everything so I'm really grateful for this service that they're providing and making therapy accessible providing financial aid they are totally flexible to your schedule you can choose to call text video call I just call but um, yeah it's just very tailored very accessible and you can use my link for a discount off of your first month thank you guys so much and let's get on with our day. It's a beautiful day today. Oh man. Look at this view. The fact that I don't have to look at another wall, I just get to look at leaves. Wow. I'm grateful to be alive. Let's go for a walk. That's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna go for a walk in nature and bring you with me. kitchen. These Gusto Seitan sausages are so delicious. 10 out of 10 recommend. They taste good with everything. I can't even fit artichoke hearts at this point. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna keep it simple. Two ingredients. Call it a day. Oh, but I really want artichoke hearts too, so maybe we'll divide one artichoke. One more? Nah. Oh, frick! I forgot the cheese! Simply ashamed. Oh wait, does does cheese go on top or on the bottom? Uh, 
Next place we move into, I would like to manifest a window for the kitchen. Oh my Jesus. Bon appetit. Good morning everybody. I woke up with literally no idea what I wanted to actually do with my hair, so I just posted a story. I decided to make this an interactive experience and the most popular haircuts you guys suggested were bob, mullets, wolf cuts, and he may cuts. And so far, oh my god, we're like 20 minutes in and wolf cut is significantly in the lead. I'm just gonna assume we're getting a wolf cut, I guess. Such a cute vibe. A mirror would be really nice here too, because it could it would fake another window. True. My hair is very poofy, man. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> There's so much of it that I feel like it's always defaulting to a triangle. Oh uh, yes. But I feel like if it's wolf cut, it'll probably like. Yeah, distribute the weight a little bit more. <laughs> I've never been more excited for a haircut in my life. Really? I feel like one of those dogs, like those little Bichons at those like grooming places yes. and where they like to sniff them into a ball. Oh gosh, yes. This is what I'm getting ready for. <laughs> if you have a salon, it should be called the Hair Fairy. You feel so delicate. You know, in my story yesterday, like I put out the question, like how do you define cool? And I was thinking, I was like, you are like such a big example of someone that I think is so cool. Oh my goodness. Just like people who are really gutsy mm -hmm. and just go and do things. And I thought of you in fourth year graphic design of your last semester dropping out to go to hair school because yes. you realize you don't like design anymore and you want to do hair. That is so, like you're badass. Also, you just have such a sweet, gentle vibe. Really? That's yeah. So funny. This is really relaxing. Oh my god, I love these bangs. <laughs> oh my god. How cute. <laughs> the way that it feels just like wisping through my fingertips. Aww. Okay, I'm definitely walking out with an attitude. <laughs> Thank you. The queen, the queen. I just got home from my bike ride. I'm actually so sweaty and wore my helmet, but like the hair is holding up really well. So I'm just gonna show Andrew now. Can I look? Yeah. Okay, you can look. Whoa! Oh, cute! You like it? Yeah, I love it. My hair's like so thin now. It's wow. so light. Oh, you look so cute from the side. Oh, wow. Maybe we should grow up my hair and do the same and we can match. Yeah, you should get a mullet. Oh, that's so cute. I'm so glad you went to go get a haircut today. I'm rating Joy's salon experience a 10 out of 10. She's so attentive to detail and even the way she brushed my hair, like I was literally falling asleep. I hope anyone in Montreal goes and books a hair appointment with her. I'll link her IG down below. DM her. I literally did the same videos yesterday and I wasn't sweaty, but today it just hit different. I'm feeling the blood like rushing through my body, like my face is warm. It feels so good. When I first start doing it, my body just feels like so creaky and nothing feels good. Like everything is just kind of painful. But then after the warm up, I do the actual flow and like I can sense myself getting more flexible like being able to move deeper into certain stretches and it feels so satisfying thank you you're welcome Me. i feel so loved getting a packed lunch for the studio it's kind of like a lunchable because i get to assemble it <laughs> <laughs> so these are black rice buns with chinese dates in it yummy mm.
first time unloading a kiln. I've never been the one to open it and just, like take everything out before. Oh, oh, cute. Oh my God, come on, look. Check them out, top layers looking pretty good. Olivia made a chess board. I think she's gonna do pieces too. I did some test pieces. Oh my God, these are hot. I guess I'll just air things out and then show you what's up. I've been really using this space like an office these days and it's been amazing. I've been doing all my calls here and it's so nice because I'll just like make stuff while I'm like chatting on calls with people and there's so many like table spots that I can just like move everywhere so it never gets too boring. I can spend a whole day here and answer emails or stuff like that or edit and yeah, just feeling very grateful for this beautiful space.